Hello, this is Anna. Her new Plus Optics A16 pediatric autorefractor arrived today. Let's watch while Anna opens the box. Wow, lots of good things. Anna will lay them on the table for us to see. There is an A16 pediatric autorefractor with a child-friendly Plus Optics smiley face and cute little ears. There is also a power supply and a power cord. It looks like everything is here. If any of these items are missing, let your Plus Optics representative know right away. Let's look at the front side of the device. The speaker is located behind the slits below the smiley face and emits an attention-grabbing warble sound. The camera lens is located directly behind the nose of the smiley face. If the child is old enough to understand instructions, they should be asked to look directly at the nose of the smiley face. Avoid the use of additional fixation aids. Having the child look directly at Smiley's nose will produce a good, valid measurement result. Any distractions should be avoided while screening. Now, let's look at the cradle. Starting on the left, there is an RJ45 connector for the connection to your electronic medical record. Next is the 12 volt power supply connection. In the middle, there are four standard USB ports followed by a DVI connector for optional connection of an external monitor. Located on the top right of the cradle is the green power button. The shutter button is the large green button located on the device handle. The fitting of the measuring head to the cradle is integrated in the hand grip so that the measuring head can be mounted quickly and securely from any direction. The cable between cradle and measuring head is arranged on the back side of the cradle so that the cable can be laid outside of children's reach. Let's have a look at the back side. The screen is a 4.3 inch resistive screen. Resistive means it will respond to the pressure of your fingernail or the blunt tip of a pen touching the screen. It's time for Anna to connect the power supply. Find the power supply and the included power cord. Connect the power cord to the power supply and plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Look for the green light. The light indicates that the power supply is working correctly. Plug the power supply into the device 12 volt power supply connector. Press the power button and release. It will take about 30 seconds for the Plus Optics device to boot completely. It is normal for the screen to go blank during the boot process. The initial screen asks Anna to set the date and time. Here, she simply touches the hour, minute, p.m. selection. Then she touches the month, slash, day, slash, year selection. Anna uses the up and down arrows to select today's date and time. When the date and time have been properly entered, she touches the green check mark in the lower right-hand corner. The green check mark tells the Plus Optics device to save the changes Anna has made. The date and time will need to be set the first time the device is turned on. Anna is finished assembling her A16 pediatric autorefractor. She turns her device off by pressing and releasing the power button.